Hey everybody, whoops, camera is very high. I feel like a lot of my streams start with me adjusting the camera like that. All right, uh, we are playing some Root tonight, because I like Root a lot and I didn't really feel like playing demos. Um, I will go back to that eventually at some point here, but I like Root, it's very fun. Um, and I haven't really been able to play as many live games of it as of late. Uh, Cables are a little tight, so it's a little hard to tilt this. That's that's good. Yeah, um, I am going to be making a, a, uh, a video with Root soon. To uh, for anybody who cares, which is many people, the season finale for Whiteboard Games Season Two is going to be how to play Root. So that'll be fun. Originally, it was going to be with all of the expansions, and then I realized N no, I can't. I that's too much. So we're just going the first four factions and everything. Uh, this music is pretty loud. Let me turn that down. Okay, okay, that should be better. All right, I have not played this in quite a while. It seems like they've updated quite a bit, and I have a uh, Long Island iced tea. That's my second one of the night. I found out that uh, it's not even iced tea. It's just... This is a joke of it's supposed to look like an iced tea, basically, but it's it's basically just five alcohols, lemon juice, and like a cola, although I went with Dr. Pepper. All right, online play. Let's see who's queuing up. I don't think any of my stuff would be active. It's been quite a while. Uh, let's not show password games. Whoops. Well... That didn't go great for me. Okay, uh, let's create a game then. Create a game, medium hard, uh, I mean, it doesn't matter. Hopefully I'll get all of them. Go with a three minute game, and oh, I'll go with a random faction. Leave everybody open, yeah, we'll go with a four player. Ah, I meant to do random clearing suits. Oh well, I can go with the standard clearing suits. So let's let's wait for everybody to queue up. Although I don't know what the uh, community for this game is like. I have not played in quite a while. I played a bit at launch. Um, and I've played some physically, so I do get the game quite a bit. I mean, it's my favorite tabletop game. I love it a lot. And yeah, the, the designer Cole Worley is making a new game that he kickstarted called Oath. It's supposed to come out hopefully in a couple months, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what their time frame's at right now. Shipping is always kind of weird, and now with everything going on in the world, it's it's even more difficult. So, we'll find out. We'll find out eventually here. You know what? Let me actually turn down this. Um, well, the matchmaking is taking quite a while here. Let's see. Oh, you know what that means. Time to practice some uh, some card flourishes. I got back into cardistry lately, which I mentioned on uh, my last demo stream, because I had some basic time to do stuff, so... Uh, uh, da, da, woo, that is an incredibly sloppy Sybil Cut. Let me try that again. Sybil Cut is like the first cardistry move I learned, which it's fairly advanced, so apparently it's pretty... It's fairly impressive. I mean, it's not that, that impressive, I guess. I don't know. Um... Let's see, what's the one I learned recently? This is Chris Ramsey's 50K. He did it for when he got 50K subscribers. You gotta do this, and then get, get, go like that. Flip that, hua hua, bam, ha ha. I hope this is all getting in frame, because I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit tipsy. Here's one, Chris Ramsey's faux cut, that is incredibly confusing from the tutorial, because he kind of ignores certain things that he says. Whoops, whoa, 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 almost messed it up, but I got it. Um, let's see, oh, what's the other one? The, right, the, the, uh, the worm cut. This is the one that everybody's like, whoa, and they put in their profile picture, but it's actually not that hard. Although saying that, I might mess it up. So you go like this, and then you go, whoa, whoa. 
yep, yep, hold on. I have trouble with that one. Uh, hold on, so we go like this. It's a, it's a Z grip. Then we go like that. Whoop, whoop. Then we go like that. And then once you have it like this, uh-oh, 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 it's falling apart. Okay, then you go like that. Kind of. Ah, I messed it up a little bit. <laughs> oh, I lost the card. Okay, there we go. Oh, what else do I know? Uh, I've been practicing my revolution cut, which is supposed to be like a basic cut, but it's uh, of the basic cuts. It's one of the harder ones. I'd say the scissor cut is the hardest. I still don't even know how to do that one, but that's like real difficult. Um, I'm going to give it another like four minutes to like 945 here, and if nobody joins, I'm going to... I'm just gonna do some of the AI games. What was the other one I learned? Um, oh yeah, the waterfall. Uh, or the what is it? Well, the waterfall is just like this. This classic situation of they all fall. Oh shit! Dropped one. Um. Oh, Blake Potato. Cool. And then uh. The one I was thinking is a uh, water bender. So let me see if I can remember how to do that. So you gotta, gotta do a pharaoh shuffle like that. Get him locked in. Scoot him up. Scoot him up. And you hold it like this. And then it's like, hopefully I can catch these correctly. Ah, 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 ah. Hey, that's actually the best uh, waterbender I've done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a marker there. That's pretty good. Especially because this is my practice deck, so it's actually pretty grippy. So the fact I was able to do that is pretty good. Uh, you know, handspring, classic. I can't do it very far apart. Ooh, oh, nope, lost a card. This is your card. No, it's. I'm gonna make you pick a card first. Um. Let's see, what else do I know? Uh, I kinda know, ah, shit. Well, okay, I know, whoops. I know Cyclone. Whoop, whoop, oh shoot. I'm not very good at catching Cyclone yet. Um, then there's also, shit, hold on. Hopefully I can do this correctly. This one is Airbender. Whoa! Ah, again, not very good at catching them, but I can I can kind of do that one. Uh, uh, just like a fan. This grip, this deck does not fan very well because, uh, like I said, it's pretty grippy. But you know, standard fan, close it up. I can do that fairly easily. Oh, there's like another one. What is it called? Oh, shoot. Everybody's in. Okay, cool. Cool. Here we go. <laughs> I'll probably do that more if we have to queue up again. Probably going to play like two games because they take like a couple hours. Or not. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, I'm going to zoom all the way out because I prefer to see it as just icons here. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm the marquee. Okay. Uh, whoa. Player will take the first turn. Oh, okay. That's new. Um, well, my usual go-to, since we don't have that, is uh, going here. Uh, I'll put my sawmill here. Workshop. Well, what do I have? Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'll put it, I'll put it there. And recruiter. Put my recruiter in the main fox clearing because this fox clearing is the one that has uh, five branches outwards. You can see there's all these different clearings, there's 12 of them, and then they each have like paths leading out. So this is the only one with five. Well, if those cards get out of the way, this is the only one with five. So it's very useful to be able to control this one because it gives you a lot more movement. Oh boy, okay. So yeah, I'm gonna craft that for safety. So I can use that in battle just in case. I do have the bird ambush, which is very good. Um, hmm. 
I hope we'll, so I want to build. So let's build. We're going to expand upwards, I think. So we're going to do another. Mm. Well, do I want to expand? Eh. Do I want to expand upwards? You know what? No, no, no. Uh, I'm going to actually. I'm going to build up here, I think. So I'm going to build a workshop because I think what I'm eventually going to do is try and play this favor of the rabbits because that's like a game changing card because as you can see here it's uh, it removes all enemy pieces and rabbit clearings which not only usually uh, towards the mid game or late game gets you a ton of points but also just like gives you so much more like leeway to do stuff it like puts your your uh, opponents in a bad position oh hawks for hire I forgot about that let's oh let's recruit we don't need to change our position right now. Mm. And I could overwork, but I think, well, mm, you know what? I'm going to march. I'm going to march out to protect this fox clearing. And nobody can really get over there right now, so I'll pop over there. Mm, yeah, I think that's good. Uh, Commander Warren lets you do an extra battle, so keep that in mind. <laughs> I like the silly sound effects. I remember, remember them having that. Ooh. <laughs> Let's do this. Full disclosure. Disclosure, I'm streaming this game. Just to, I mean, it's just nice to let them know. A lot of people care. Ooh, what'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get, Orpheus? You got a sword, I think? Or do you start with a sword? I can't remember what the, the uh, thief gets. Uh, ooh, and that lets you take a thing. Oh, he aided me. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, what's the Vagabond? The Vagabond turn, it's like, it's the most fun to play Vagabond because it's like first person, like R like single player RPG situation, but it also takes a while because you have so many options that you can do. So I don't blame him for taking a minute, but I'm going to drink some water. Uh, hail hydrate stay stay hydrated my friends while he's doing that I'm gonna actually try and do the worm again I got this one hold on all right so if I do it correctly whoa, whoa. Uh oh whoa whoa oh shit 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 no I gotta get it over here Ooh, ooh. Uh, I gotta get up to my pinky. Come on, come on. Eh, almost. There we go. Whoa. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no, this is this is falling apart. Dang it. The worm is not that hard. It's only like it's basically just a Z cut, and then you like pivot off of two cards. It's like super simple, but like getting the correct, uh, the correct positioning. Oh wait. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Uh, I can't really extend my thumb out any further. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's fine. I, I don't have quite the finger flexibility. I also have weird hands. Like, that's me holding my hands straight. You see how it bows like that? That's My fingers are just, like, bowed backwards. That's me, like, exaggerating it. That's, that's what I consider straight. See the curve? Oh. Uh. I always thought I had small hands, too, but I looked it up, and it's actually, my hands are about average. Ooh, that's a good revol- that was a good revolution cut. I usually, I'm getting better at that one. I had a lot of trouble with it at first, because it's like, you gotta, like, go between, like, four different positions, like, really smoothly. Ugh. And also, the big difficulty is, um, 
is uh, not even like the spin, but it's this part where your finger is right in the way. Moving it so that you can close it up. That's really difficult. And then you go, wah, wah. All right, what are you going to add to the decree? The thing with the Eerie is you got to kind of block, block them from doing the stuff they have to do. So they got to move, and they got to build. Okay, I can stop them from moving, I think. Um, if they need to move twice, I just have to rule some of the clearings. Oh boy. All right, they're going to build their roost there. Hmm. Okay. Okay, that's how you want it. I don't have anything to craft yet, but I'll think I'll build a workshop. Ah! Nah, I don't like brutal tactics very much. I'll probably use that as an hawks for hire. Uh, we're gonna, well, we're gonna build first. I want to get another recruiter out. Uh, I'm basically abandoning the top left of the board. I don't really care. Uh, a recruiter. Okay. Um, oh, I should have built a sawmill. That's fine. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna overwork. And we're gonna discard Commander Warren. I don't really care. And then we're gonna use that to build a sawmill. Which is a point for me. It means that it opens up the next tier of stuff. And then I'm gonna actually use Brut Hawks for Hire with Brutal Tactics. And then we're gonna use that to recruit. To shore up my defenses a little bit. And we'll continue to evening. Ooh, a fox dominance. I never do the dominances, though, because they're, they're way too hard to actually, like, accomplish. It's basically you have to, um... You have to rule three of the four fox clearings at the start of your turn to do it. So it always ends up being, like, all you're doing is putting a target on your back... So it's like you rule three fox clearings, but the likelihood that you rule them well enough that nobody can stop you, a really low chance of that. It's it's almost suicide. I would say when you're the Vagabond, it's better because the coalition, you're kind of just betting on the lowest scoring player to win. But if it's a really close game already, that's not too risky, you know? Let me know if any if any of this isn't making sense to you guys. It's kind it's not that complicated a game, but the whole thing is like asymmetrical, so each each character has different stuff that they're doing. Um and I'm going to talk through my strategy, but it's with the assumption that you kind of know what the game is, but I'll like do refreshers and stuff. I just I I love this fucking game. It's so it's so fun. Oh my god, and this artwork is so cute. Look at that little raccoon. No! How dare you? Uh, oh boy. Oh, wait, no, no, okay. Whew, because it was orange. This, see, this is a thing most people do at the beginning, is they're like, oh, orange, okay, that's like a fox. It's like, no. Okay, so he was fighting, he was fighting the uh, Woodland Alliance. I thought he was fighting me. Oh, I was going to feel so bad. Uh, generally destroying the cat keep early doesn't help you unless you're a late game faction like the birds or with an alliance. The BB killing the vibe right or vibe here. Vagabond, right? Oh, it still does the thing where it zooms in and out even if you're scrolling on here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I can't craft anything, so no deals happen in there. Um, if I could craft something, I would here, but I can't right now. So I'm going to build. Oh, where do I want to go? I'm going to I'm gonna protect the core, core of the board, I think. Like this, 
this chunk right here it's easy to kind of zip between them um, we're gonna build not a workshop not a recruiter let's build another sawmill so that we can get up to the three tier items let's march so that I can protect my guys and then we'll scoot them over there you can have that clearing I don't mind it's not that useful to me so you know and then I'm gonna march two of my guys down here for protection so they don't take out my keep or that sawmill I really need that sawmill um, then I'll pop down here I think and ooh wait a minute actually how many that's your hand five supporters the likelihood that they have a mouse is kind of high I'm gonna bank on them not I mean it's too late anyway so it doesn't matter I'm gonna hang on to the ambush it's way too powerful to like give up on Hawks for hire I swear to god if you do a mouse okay Right here, if he, if he discarded two, he could drop a guy, he could basically wipe out all my guys right here, which would be very annoying, so I am going to take him out probably this next turn. I just want to be careful because that means he gets to take one of my cards. Well, no, he won't take one. Well, no, he'll have to, he'll take my ambush. Ooh... Is that what I want to do? Well, mm, maybe. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. I'm just going to kind of... Uh, trying to practice with cards. I'm trying to learn some magic tricks as well. They're very difficult. Um, at least like the sleight of hand tricks I want to learn. But I've learned a couple. I've been able to like mesmerize a few people. I do some, but I don't. I don't think I'm like well enough in practice to do it. Plus, it's going to be kind of confusing because it's like with the delay, I'd have to pick the card, and you guys be like, well, "What? How do we know that wasn't the card you wanted us to pick?" I mean, if it was the card I wanted you to pick, you'd pick it anyways. Magic. I don't know. Oh wait, wait, hold on. Oh. Sorry, I feel, I feel a sneeze coming on, but it's very distant. Well, let me turn the handle on that drink. In fact... Mm, boy, oh boy. Oh, geez, Vagabond's really high up there now. Well, not really high up there. Huh. Well, maybe. Ooh, I'm not as high up as I'd like to be. Hmm. I mm, I think I'm gonna attack down here in the rabbit clearing. I might do that because, like, I I want to hang on to the rabbit clearings so that I can uh, do the favor of the rabbits. But at the same time, are they that useful if I can't? Hmm. Plus, I gotta get up top. Oh. Maybe that's not what I want to do. It's nice. I got some stubble going on. So it's kind of nice to like do a thoughtful... Thoughtful beard stroke. I am doing No Shave November, so... This is going to get real good and scraggly. All over. But I am bringing back the handlebar mustache I had last year. So that's going to be fun. Um, Y'all will see. Y'all will see. If you want to see now, you can go, if you go to my YouTube channel, it's linked down below, Iggy and the Ape, um, a few of my movie reviews from about this time last year, I had like a big old handlebar mustache, and I kept it for a good time, uh, I eventually, like, did away with it, because it's, it's, uh, it's fun, but it's also like, it kind of itches to have a beard, and also 
Beard oil makes your hair look nice, but it does not make your skin work very good. Okay. I don't have anything to craft. Well, uh... I'm definitely going to want to build. I'm going to want to fight. There's not a ton that they can do to stop me here. Or... Here... Alright, I'm going to battle here first and foremost. They're defenseless. So they're just out. Which means that I have to give them my bird card, but it goes it goes their supporters, so it doesn't doesn't worry me too much. Gonna build a workshop down here. And then I'm gonna I don't have any uh sawmill Ooh, actually I do have a sawmill and a fox clearing, so I'm gonna actually I'm gonna do that with the dominance, get that out of here. Okay, and that gives me... Well, actually, I could have waited. Ah, whatever. Whatever, that's fine. That just gives me extra... No! God damn it. Blast. No! I had... My plans... Ah, damn. Okay. That's not great for me. But I can come back from it. Maybe. Well. Yeah. On my turn, I can do... I can do a field hospital, so I'm gonna probably do that. What does scouting party do? Not affected by ambush cards. That's very useful. Hmm... Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens here. I don't think I have a great chance. I know I have, like, a, a higher score. You can see in the, the corner there. Oh, no, you can't. Hold on. Let me let me adjust my screen. Uh, wait. Hold on. Let me adjust the video a little bit. Uh, come on. Come on. There it is. There it is. In fact, I should probably adjust it on this side too a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's probably good. Yeah, okay. Uh, whoops. <laughs> a little sneak peek into my life. Um, that's not what I meant to do. Whatever. Uh, uh, whoa, get out of here. It's my VPN trying to start up. I'll teach you guys real quick the most basic card flourish. You grab a card between your, your thumb and forefinger like that. Then use your middle finger to push it around. Place it right here and drop it. That's how you do the Ferris. If you want to do it twice... You can also do that for extra. Wow, 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 wow. It's also the the flirt it goes out like that. I can't do it very fast. Being able to do it fast is like the trick. But you, whoop, whoops, whoop, whoop. I'm not a, honestly a huge fan of that. I think it's a little, a little clunky and weird. Um, you can also just do weird cuts like swivel cut you just hold it like that just kind of pivot off your thumb forefinger back here you can just kind of do that and then that and then whatever you like whoops 
Dropped a card, dropped a card, hold on, hold on, just a moment. Oh man, yeah, I really guffed this up. I should have been paying more attention to the Woodland Alliance. I don't think I'm in too bad a position, though. <coughs> Honestly, the Vagabond seems like he's more of a... More of a, a an issue. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use that to do the field hospital. I need those guys back. Okay, and then... Hmm. Uh, no, it's more useful to me as a crafting card. So I needn't worry about that. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't have anything to craft quite yet. Hmm. I do want to get my revenge, but I don't want to do it too early because that could be pretty stupid. I do want to get some more recruiters out, though. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I can build a recruiter. Oh, why can't I? Oh, because it's not connected by the wood. Well, let's let's not do that then. Let's um, let's march. We're gonna march three up here. That's that's whatever. And then we'll march uh, another one down here from up there. Yeah, fine. Outrage. Whoop de doo. Um. And that means I should be able to build in that clearing. Yeah. So we're going to build a recruiter. And I'm going to... Well, I'm not going to recruit quite yet, but I will battle. Honestly, I should battle the fake bond, but... Vengeance. Ooh. Yeah, let's let's hang out with the Vagabond for another bit. Until he hits 15, he's not too much of a problem. Whoops. Oh, bump my phone a little bit. Uh no, I should be fine. One hit isn't too bad. Hmm. Oh, another armor. Well, got to use the first one. Hmm. Fair point, but you're creeping up the VP track mighty quick. And it does get to me a little nervous with the Vagabond, but it's fine. They, can't, they, they, they have the hardest time finding victory points, so it's not too big a deal. Hmm. Let's see. What What is going to happen here? Considering options. Okay. Gotta make sure to hydrate. Don't forget to hydrate. Is he going to seek vengeance or is he going after the Vagabond? I can see him going for the Vagabond. Hmm. What's the what's the plan here? Uh -huh. Oh, I don't like that. That's that's revolt situation. Yep. Well, actually, he's probably trying to get victory points more than anything. Well, I don't want to really protect my buildings because while it does give them victory points, it also gives me victory points. We're cracking into the mid-game about now, so... That's honestly, I think... 
my biggest issue with the, um... My biggest issue with Root is just the victory points. Because everything else is so deeply thematic in this game. But the victory points... The victory points are just, they feel like such a, a throwaway. And I know Cool Whirly and his like design diaries has explained that um, it's supposed to be like, oh, the influence you gain and stuff. But I don't, I don't know. I feel that, I feel like the victory points, especially when it comes to something like the Vagabond, I'm not really sure what that's supposed to mean thematically. So... So, I don't know. Whip. Whoops. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Oh, what was the other... There was another one I learned recently. It was like... Oh, God, I hope I can do this correctly. Uh... And you go like... Whoop, whoop. And then you do like a scissor cut thing. And you spin this around. And you... Ah, it didn't flip over. But the... The... Ah, crap. It's got it does like a little flip sometimes. You gotta you gotta get it at the right distance. You gotta like catch it kinda. Just whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Oh okay, I got I I kinda got it. Okay, it hit my finger. So you just gotta do this and then this. And then you ooh, oh, that packet might be a bit thick. Oh no no yep. Yep. Everything fell apart. Oh well. The big thing with sleight of hand is that you got to be able to do it real fast and real smooth, which I it just takes practice. I've honestly only been back into magic for like a couple weeks now, so I think I'm doing okay. Chew it, chew it, wait. wait. No, let's go like this. And you whip. Fwa. Whoop. Yep, yep. I, well, I didn't drop it at least. Uh. Mm -hmm. There's another one that I can kind of only do with the newer decks. Let me grab one of these ones. I have like four decks over here. Um at varying levels of use. I've used this one quite a bit. Um, well, gotta get rid of the ad cards. I specifically use this one for any of the newer ones because it's like, it's it's kind of new, but it's not so new that I can't uh, do stuff with it. So, Let's see, Ugh. the beginning of this, this particular flourish is real tricky. You gotta, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, I kind of guffed that up, but okay, and then you, you, you do the revolution cut in this hand, and then you, yep, dropped the card. Oh, none of them hit the floor, though, so I, I, I will call that not too bad. Wait, are you playing the dominance? Oh... That's actually pretty smart. Hmm. Well. Yeah, I guess you could have picked anybody. Um, okay, let me try this again while I wait. Uh, the first part of this is hard because you gotta like grip the card with the back of your ring finger. 
Hey. I should honestly probably be paying more attention to the game, but do that, do that, and you hit. Oh, that was a garbage fun thumb fan. Although I can thumb fan a little bit better with these ones. Yeah. But it's because they're new. Ugh. They're a little more slippery. Ooh. Oh, uh, let me try water bend with these. It'll be a little bit easier. They farrow a lot nicer than the uh, older ones, too. And because they're slippery, they'll do a little bit better doing the thing. It's going to be my turn in a minute, but let me just... Ah, you got to be able to do it from higher up, so it's, it's not great, but um, I've done worse. Okay, let's see. Discard matching card. Oh, did I get fought? I guess I did. Um, hmm. I'm going to hang on to favor of the rabbits. Well... I don't think I'm even going to get a chance to do them this game, honestly. Ah, I already got an armor, so I can do that. Alright. Got plenty of lumber. I'm ruling here. Uh, I don't have anything to craft, so I don't know why it's like that. Um, I'm gonna build for sure. Uh, let's build. Oh, let's build a workshop. Oh, uh, oh yeah, you can have multiple workshops in the same, same space. So la yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna recruit. Oh. And I want to march, but I don't think I can. Hmm. It's not a great idea. Uh, how are they doing on supporters? Two. Oh. Well, they do also have all their bases out, so it doesn't help them that much. Um. Uh, let me take out one of their bases. That'll screw them up. <laughs> now I only need to attack the Woodland Alliance to uh be able to do anything. Uh oh. Oh, that means they have an ambush card. Oh. It uh, doesn't matter too much. And yeah, I'm gonna use that. So that I don't have to take any hits. Oof. Terrible. Oh, they still haven't fixed that. Oof, terrible roll. All right, we're going to have to keep an eye on on them. They've got another point. Although the ear you're doing fairly well. Hmm. All right, let's try this again. Do that. Then you do this. This is like, what do they call this? The like Lindbergh or something? Fuck, what was it? Most of my like knowledge as of late comes from uh, Chris Ramsey on YouTube. So, it, whoop, oh, that goes to the bottom, I guess. <laughs> so it's like, I've learned a bit, but also it's like all very much one style, and then you gotta kinda, whoa, oh, oh, there those cards go. Let's just say that the, that worked out, then you, yeah, and then you, whoo. <laughs> I guess that was, oh, that was like terrible. Um, I can do three Pak Shakur pretty quick. Yeah, that one's pretty easy, you just, it's just basically you grab a packet, drop a packet, flip it around your middle finger, and then just Charlie A. Charlie A, that's just hold it like that, and then you like that. that. That's like the second thing I learned after the 
after the Sybil cut, which I learned like years ago, and it's pretty much the only cardistry. I don't know why I never learned more cardistry after this, like the Sybil and the Charlier. For some reason, I just like fell out of it. I think it's because I didn't have a ton of support. The person I was dating at the time was like, cards are dumb. You should be interested in like folk punk or whatever bullshit. Oops. Meanwhile, that person was, like, constantly whining about how they had no direction in life. And, oh, I don't even know what I want to do. Oh, I don't even want to do the thing I'm going to college for. It's like, well, maybe you shouldn't shit on somebody who has passion for something else if you yourself have no passion for anything. You know? That would be an option. Sorry, I got to make sure I didn't... I didn't lose any of these when I dropped them a minute ago. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Okay, that's the full pack. And as usual when I do that, I'll just do a quick pharaoh. I'm not great at the Pharaoh Shuffle. I always get uneven packets and such, but... Um, if you're not getting what I'm doing, it might be a little hard to see, but basically, the Pharaoh Shuffle, I'm gonna get close to the camera. <laughs> um, here, I'll bring the mic over. So the Pharaoh Shuffle is where you take two perfect packs, ostensibly perfect packs, and you just weave them together like so. And it is a perfect shuffle. Oh, I dropped a bunch. Glad I didn't drop them. I didn't drop them in my drink, at least. Um, but yeah, the Pharaoh shuffle is a perfect shuffle. Mathematically, and actually, there's like a whole thing with binary, I guess, where you. Where, like, every time you do an out pharaoh, you, um. It, like, changes all of the positions by one. Or, it, like, doubles the position, and then every time you in pharaoh, it, like. Doubles the position minus two. So, if you, like want to get to a specific location you pharaoh it specific ways i can't do pharaoh specifically enough yet to be able to manage that but if you do it exactly perfect uh it's also as i was saying earlier it's the beginning of this move with the whoops hold on i got it ah shit God. I mean, they fell. I don't know. I'm not great at making them into a real deck yet. I'm, I I literally learned that one like last night, the night before or something. So I don't know. I'm still working on it. Whoops. Oh, a bit slippery. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighteen, nineteen, The thing about the Ferris Shuffle being perfect as well is that it's also, like, very difficult to do correctly. I do it incorrectly. I'm able to do it more or less, but not super great. I 
I keep wanting to practice like different like magic moves, <laughs> magic methods over here, and I feel like that would probably be a bad idea on stream because I'm definitely not good enough at it that I wouldn't accidentally uh, flash what I'm doing. <laughs> Someday, someday when I'm better, I might do just like a stream of actually like doing magic tricks for a while. Like I get pretty good at it first. I also gotta get a better camera. Cause this is just the like built-in camera. I don't know. Zoop. Put those back there. In fact, hold on, if I line these up correctly, let me see. Hey, there we go. You guys can see that now. That is not hard. You just plant it on the the felt and just zoop across. The hard part is just getting an even press all the way across. Same with like the thumb fan. It's like getting it so that you're putting even pressure and like timing it. It's not that hard. The thing I like about uh, magic and cardistry is that you can be a little sloppy and it still comes across if you're like sloppy in music and stuff It's very obvious because like oh ooh, you're sloppy on that guitar. You're getting the buzz Doesn't sound good, but like sloppy in cardistry. It's like it still looks kind of sick. Oh Boy, I'm drinking a lot of liquor. Oh turmoil Basically with the eerie they have like a specific like um, set of orders they have to do and so uh, if they f mess it up then they lose a bunch of stuff oh boy yeah I'm not gonna win this well I'm definitely gonna lose to be fair I'm pretty drunk Um, okay, let's, should we make the push for favor of the rapids? I don't think I'm going to be able to hold it. There's a problem. Well, okay, I can't really craft anything. I'm, I'm going to recruit. TBH, this is entertaining enough for the stream. I appreciate the high level of play y'all are showcasing. I have a whole one viewer. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm getting silly. I'm very drunk. <laughs> uh, let's see. Build. Uh, yeah. Let's just build for a point. Uh, sawmill. Maybe. This. Uh, eh, it doesn't help me a ton. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. It gets me another card. <sighs> I think that's all the building I can do. Let's march. Let's march, boys. Th that one. We're going to march over here. I'm going to... Nah, fuck it. I'm just going to go chaos mode. Uh... Th that one. Yeah, they can't do much with it. No, Carl. I loved you. <laughs> um. Oh. Yeah, let's move a couple of these guys. Well, eh, just two. Two should be fine. Outrage. Have an outrage. I don't care. Shit. 
Oh, I miscounted how many actions I had. No! Break. That's fine. Sorry, I... Mic too close. Very drunk. Excuse me. This is my second drink, but it has five things of alcohol. F uh, three quarter ounces times five. That's 15 fourths. That's nearly four ounces. So that's basically four shots a piece. So this is like eight shots total? Nearly eight shots total. Like seven and a half, I guess. That's a lot, though. And I'm big, but I'm like... I also have not drank in quite a while. Ooh. Oh, the Alliance. Ugh. Oof, yeah, he's he's got this. Damn. We should have cracked down on him. Wow, only an hour. That's pretty quick. Ah, shoot. Oh, we gotta wait a whole turn. Oh, gosh. Oh, I was hoping to take my break now. Well, that's okay. Sorry, I keep kind of busting the mic up a little bit. A little bit. Um, I may take a break between and try out Mario 35, I think. Maybe another game of this and then Mario 35. Uh, I mean, Mario 35 takes like 10 minutes at most. And I'm not going to be very good at it. I'll tell you that right now. Hmm. I don't know. If you have an opinion on it, let me know in the chat. And I will decide because of that. Mario 35 is like the Mario Battle Royale where basically everybody's playing Mario and then like the, any enemies they beat get added to everybody else's or something. It's difficult. But it looks fun. It's also the original Mario, which I'm not a huge fan of, as you guys probably saw from the, the Mario marathon I did. I don't know. Ah, I had that all set up nice. Ah, let's do a do a little bit of a spinny deal. Woo, woo. This is like the easiest. Oh god, I don't think I could do it with the packet this big. Maybe. Whoa! Oh, nearly. All right, let's do a uh, cyclone. Whoa! Just got. Oh, <laughs> got it. Is this your card? That's the the Eight of Spades? Yes, the Eight of Spades. Do you guys have a favorite card? I know everybody goes for like the Ace of Spades, generally. Um, but my favorite, actually, if I can find it. Yeah, there it is. Four of Clubs. I feel like the Four of Clubs is a uh, pretty downtrodden. I think he's he's a cool guy. I think he deserves a little more love. Oof. Yeah, they can just take that. I don't have anything to stop them. Whoops. That's the wrong finger. Just got... Oof. Yeah. Ooh, it's hard. Uh, because that card's really sticky. Ugh. Oh, God. That's a terrible thumb fan. Oh, what am I doing? Go for it. I don't care, dude. They only need the... Ah, fuck it. Uh, dude, dude. Done. They win. Let me just do another one of these real quick. Ooh. Oh, that's not too bad a thumb fan, especially for these cards. Like, they're pretty dinged up at this point. There it is. Will Alliance wins. Good work. Uh, is it going to tell me their username? Oh, yeah, an Orpheus one, too. Coalition. So, yeah, good work, Lord David the Terrible and Orpheus. You guys did great. I appreciate you. So, thanks for watching that. I'm going to take a break before the next game, but let me, let me hit them with a GG. Or not. Eh. All right, I'm going to take a break. So I'll be right back. Don't touch the internet dial. Don't go anywhere. We're going to get back into it in just a minute. BRB. 
<laughs> the shortcut is not set up on this this version uh because i'm playing from my computer hold on
Woo! Okay. I am much drunker than I thought, so I'll probably do one more game and then, uh... Ooh, chill out. Uh, ooh. Come on now. All right, uh, there we go. Uh, H. Finix game. Dang, I kind of wanted to be Vagabond. Let's go... Oh, let's go just random. I think that'll be fine. And then we can wait. I'm random. Looks like other people are not so random, though. Whoops, whoops, whoops. This is a pretty good fan. For, like, pretty beat-up cards. Because these are, like, my... This is... I think I already said it, but this is, like, my practice deck. Ah, you guys can't see that at all. <laughs> I just did a handspring straight onto the table here. I mean, they're all fine. It's 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 a nice, nice, sturdy folding poker table, which I'm gonna use here for uh, whiteboard game season two. <sighs> I gotta finish up like my my storyboard checklist and stuff to make sure that I don't miss any footage. I've got two. Of the like 12, oh, actually it's more like 13. One of them's really short. So I added another one, which is gonna be Fort, another leader game, um, which I really love. But I can never get a game going because they're always, always never not games going for it on the, um, the Discord for the leader games fandom. Okay, choose clearing for my, um, the Marquise again. Okay. Well, I'll start over here again, I think. Uh, build my sawmill. Ah! Well, hold on. What do I want to do? I don't really care about code breakers. I do want to do arms traders, so let's, let's build a sawmill here. Workshop there. Recruiter there. Then I'll build my next workshop right there. Let's see which leader they go with. Ooh, 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 they're going with the uh, Charismatic. Which gives them a lot more warriors, but it also means that if they pick any uh, recruit actions, it becomes very difficult for them. So we'll see how that goes. Ugh, this light really emphasizes my Widow's Peak. I'm, my hairline's receding a little bit. It's, it's definitely not that bad. And I've always had kind of a big forehead, but... I don't know. It, it's not a great pairing with the uh, the long hair. Oh, well. I don't care. I don't care what you think. If my hair starts to, like, go uh, fall out in, like, earnest, I'm probably just going to start doing, like, the shaved head situation. Just, like, buzz cut. It's easier. I am enjoying long hair while I can, though. While I can. Um. Hmm. Yo. Full disclosure. I'm streaming this game. Hopefully they're all right with that. I'm gonna, while they're taking their turn, gather up these cards. Hold on. The King of Hearts. The King of Hearts always like gets way further away than any other cards when I'm doing this. Ooh. Eight of Diamonds fell on the ground. Whoops. There it is in frame. Okay. Oh man, fighting. That sucks for me, but 
All right. I don't think it was in any. Yeah, I don't care about that rabbit clearing. That rabbit clearing kind of sucks. Because it's like so far from everything else. And it's like the only spot that only has two paths. Well, aside from this, uh, this fox clearing down here. Ah. <sighs> So some card basics for you guys. Let's say you have like a really messed up deck, right? And you want to get it like into position. What you do is you bring it all together as close to tight as you can. And then you just kind of shimmy it and like wiggle your fingers until it's just horizontal and vertical. And then you take your finger and twist the vertical. And it's all one deck again. Okay, uh, do I want to do field hospitals? Uh, no. No, I don't mind missing the one guy. Card is more useful to me right now. I don't have anything to craft yet. Ooh, but the favor of the foxes. Alright, so we're going to build... I'm going to overwork first. Uh, I can't overwork, though. Hmm... I'd have to use up my... Mm, I want to keep that, though. So let's raise the bar and look up to the stars. There we go. So that'll give me the armor resist next turn. Hmm. And I can probably get Favor of the Foxes next turn after that. I'll save it. I will save the Favor of the Foxes, but it will be useful for later. Um... I'm gonna use March to scoot in my ranks a little bit. Oh, you can have that rabbit clearing. I don't need it. Hmm. Oh, let's scoot in a little bit more than even that. Uh, yeah. Let's let's just scoot the whole situation and make a nice wall. Ooh, shoot. Uh, yeah, tax collector. I don't need that. Hopefully that doesn't give them enough supporters. Ooh. Oh, wait, it's still my turn. Uh, not going to do Hawks for Hire. Continue on. Smuggler's Trail. I could probably use that. Doesn't look... Ah, damn it! Immediately! Shit, man. <sighs> well, dang. Tell me how you really feel. <laughs> That's pretty brutal, man. I haven't played Root in person in so long. It's so good. So good. Like, this is this is a pretty good implementation. I will say, um, I'm not a huge fan of these 3D models, necessarily. But, it's still fun. It's, it's I mean, it's still Root. You know, how bad could it really end up being? With such a strong groundwork. Let me see if I can do a... Oh, I'm not super great at the dribble. Especially because these cards stick together a lot more. I can, however, do the waterfall pretty decently. Uh-oh, uh-oh, some of them flipped. That also, I feel like I should have like twisted that around a bit. Oh boy, and they have to battle, so they're going to go after me in the fox clearing. So let's see how that works out. I feel like I might make some tutorials on just like basic shuffles, because I feel like not enough people know. I, I was trying to look up some basic shuffles, and like people weren't really explaining them, so I feel like... Because, okay. There's the overhand. You hold your the cards... Fingers on top, thumb on bottom. 
put it down on your palm, put your thumb up, and just pull it back so that your thumb pulls off like some amount of cards, right? And just do that a few times and you get better at it as things go on. Then there's the box shuffle, which is pretty similar, but instead you hold it from the side with like the top going out and you grab it, thumb and forefinger and middle finger, just let it drop into that hand. Whoop. Um, and then there's my go-to, which is the riffle shuffle. You break it off into two packets. You uh, hold it between your pinky and forefinger, and with these fingers up top, and you curl those fingers underneath to form like basically a surface that they'll hold onto. And you take your thumbs, take your forefingers, knuckle against the back of the card, bend them, and then just release with your thumbs. Oops, screwed up that last bit a little bit. But once you get into that, it's just like, come on, it doesn't want to bend. Uh, oh my God, I'm very drunk, hold on. And then to uh, put it back together, you put your thumbs across the center, bend them back, and then move your fingers out of the way and it'll just naturally bend back into a single deck press it together square it up and then there's like the pharaoh shuffle which is pretty difficult but that's just square the decks up uh press down on the top of the pack there bottom of the pack there meet them up just kind of seesaw them together until they naturally weave together and then one-handed you just push the edges together and let them go I'll go in more detail. I'm gonna do a YouTube video explaining these because I got everything set up to like show my hands and stuff So I think that'd be I think that'd be something people would be interested in Because there's that there's like basic cuts like the table cut would just be like that um, Swivel cut Charlie a and well, well that was a revolution Charlie a is just that revolution is that I need to learn the fucking scissor cut. I get how it works. You like basically do that and then you, no, you combine them. Ugh. My hands are not accustomed quite yet. Okay, Um, how much did I lose? I lost, I lost a recruiter and I lost some pieces. Mm, now I need those cards more. Crafting phase, let's craft that. Oh, right. I gotta try to get to the center. Hey, H. Finnett, I got a sword for you. Crafting phase. Uh, well, I only did all the crafting I could, so we're good. Um, hmm. Well, I want to build another workshop right there. Oh, I don't have another sawmill. Shoot. Hold on. I got to... Let's build another sawmill here. Yes, and that will give me the wood next turn. Or... I don't actually need the code breakers, so let's actually just... Wait... No, that won't give me enough wood, so that's not not worth it to do that. <laughs> build. I don't have any wood. What did they tell me to build for? Let's just let's move this up north. I think. Uh and then choose an act. Oh, I should have moved. I got a second move. Whatever. Let's build a recruiter. Zero. Oh, right, because I lost the other one, so I actually could do it for free. Right, 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 right. Uh, ooh, 
Nope, can't do that. Oh, wait, I was gonna do the... Nah. I was gonna do the workshop at that one. So I should have done it at the mouse clearing. Whoops. This is what happens when you play a strategy game drunk. Oh, well. Nope, nope, nope. No, there we go. See, this is the thing. It's it's like not that hard, but then the close-up. The close-up is the difficult part. The actual spin is not too difficult. Because the spin is you, you just hold it between thumb and forefinger, and you transfer it over to forefinger and ring, and then let it drop. But then, uh, then being able to get your finger out of the way and close it up, that's hard. Whoop. Also, sometimes you just get too much of a packet, and it, it messes up. Oops. Hmm. Well, let me... Let me just do the faux shuffle. Or the faux cut, real quick. Whoa! That's fine. It happens. Anybody who's into cardistry or magic... Um will tell you that you end up with a lot of playing cards on the floor. Did I miss any right? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> okay. There we go. <sighs> That's the thing with the three minute time limit on each of the uh, turns. I guess I didn't even check that this was a three minute game. It's working out that way. Oh, uh, we'll see. We will see. Wait. It's not enough cards. Uh, uh. It's fine. I This is pretty much what I do all day is I just like watch YouTube videos. It, I, I either write stuff, edit stuff, stream, or I'm just watching YouTube videos while, like, absentmindedly practicing cardistry to get stuff set up to... Ah, oh, dang. Oh, no, those went way too far away. I don't know. It's just fun. I have very fidgety hands. Hold on. I got time before my next turn. I'll grab those. Beer beat. I got him. I got him. I am here. Hello. Okay, let me do one that I'm a little more confident in then. Um How do you how do you start this one off? Oh right, okay, so it's like this and then you and then you uh -huh. Oh come on, come on. Yeah. Almost uh, Whoa. Oh, finish it off. <laughs> that was so sloppy. Oh my god. However, I know I can do the Sybil like practically in my sleep, so that's one that's a little impressive. Do -do -do -do. What to do, do? That one, like, the thing is, like, I learned it ages ago, and no, I did it wrong. I'm a fool. Well, that's fine. I can just kind of. I learned it ages ago, and I d practiced it so much that it's just, like, burned into my memory. Whoops, 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 whoops. That's not the Sybil. What am I doing there? That's the kickflip? The kickflip doesn't look that impressive if you can't actually do the kickflip move, though. Because you're supposed to, like... You're supposed to do it out like this, and you grab that packet, and then you're supposed to do, like, a spinny. You're, like, you're supposed to spin this packet. But I can't really do that, so I just kind of end up closing it off a little. Come on. Spin, and then you. Come on. Hold on. I know I can do this one. It's. You take it, flip it around, and then you. Whoop! Hey! Caught it. Here's the Sybil. Here's the Sybil. I remember. Bam! Cha. What? 
where you do it like that, and then you whoop. <laughs> oh man, ah, I'm getting a little warm. We don't have the. Oh shoot, it's my turn. Oops. Let me take my turn. Hold on here. All right, nothing to craft quite yet. So I need to gain control of a fox clearing to be able to do favor of the foxes. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna recruit, or I'm gonna build a recruiter right here, Rec right here. And I'm gonna recruit. And then I'm going to battle right here. They might have an ambush. Yep, they have an ambush. Well, shit. Oh, and they get the higher number because they're the. They get the guerrilla war war warfare. Guerrilla warfare. They lose everything except that, though. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll use the code breakers to field hospital. Brings my guys back over here. So that's pretty good. Made some mouse in a sack. Mouse in a sack, babe. Ah, you revolted. This game is going a lot slower than the last one, too. Oof. Oh, any new... Hmm. Yeah, I feel bad for Yuri Walker. They're very new. Uh, did they take my sword? They don't got... They have not yet, but maybe they will. Hmm. We'll see how this goes. You know, I should play some board game arena on the stream sometime. Because I play it pretty often, um, just in my spare time, so playing it on stream would probably be a pretty decent idea. It's something that I'm pretty familiar with. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if that's something you would, uh, the comments, the chat, if that's something you'd like to see. You know? Uh, yep. Do 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 do. Do 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 do, babe. Scoop it do do. Quite, 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 quite. We're still in the early game. I mean, we're not too deep in. It's only, like, been 20 minutes. Last game finished in about an hour. I think it's going to take quite a while for the uh, Eerie to catch up because they're a new player, and that's a very hard faction. Whoops. Dropped a card. See, that stuff, like, that's the fairest, but then if you just... Do it with the other fingers. You can keep a card fluttering for a while. That's just practice. I just fidget around with stuff. Hence why I have, like, the fidget cube on the desk that I'm just always messing around with. Or um, Rubik's Cube. I have a stickerless one. I'm just always solving this. Specifically for the, like, stuff. It's... Uh, I, I basically know, like, one solve, and I just do it over and over again, because it feels nice to use my hands. Let me see if I can save this. I think I could solve this before my next turn, so let's see. Uh, there. Um, do, 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 do. Ah, shit, I fudged that up. Uh, no, wait, no, no, I didn't. Um, just gotta do that, that. And then, uh, wait, no, no, no. Gotta do it like this. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Mm, yeah, that works. 
And you do it like this. They're still taking their turn. Like that. Um, like that. Whoop, nope, not there. Yeah! No! One of the corners popped up. Oh no. I was too violent. Shoot, I hope I put this on correctly. Ah, uh, dang. Come on. There's like a way to do it. There we go. That's back on. Okay, okay. Oh, no. That could have been pretty bad. Okay. White side finished. Um... Wait, shit. Frick, I already fudged it up. Hold on. Okay, so you do it like this. Yes. Is it my turn yet? Not quite. Okay. Uh, oh, darn. And then we go like this. Okay. Two rows finished on all the sides, and it's my turn. I'll do the last side after I finish this. Okay, I uh, can't craft anything right now. Oh boy, I'm doing terribly right now. Okay, I really put too many eggs in the, uh, in the favor of the fox's basket, so... Hmm... Yeah, I need to establish some stuff in some in some mouse clearings. So let's move both of those guys. They're pretty safe over here. And we'll move one guy over here. And then we're going to build a workshop in this mouse clearing. I'm not going to battle. I am going to recruit. And I got to discard something. Let's... Uh, let's get rid... Oh, I'm still very close to getting Favor of the Foxes. So let's get rid of Favor of the Rabbits. Put it in the middle. There we go. Okay. So, update. Every side. It's got two rows. White side still solved. So now I just gotta get this. Oh crap, did I already mess it up? No, okay, that's not too bad. Oh, frick. Wait, how do I do this part? Ah, no. No, I messed it up. Okay, okay. No, crap. Why do I keep doing that? Okay. There we go. Uh... Is that correct? No. Why am I doing that wrong? Hold on. Maybe I need to do it, like, on another side? No, I'm doing that fully wrong. Shit, how do I do that part? You got the, the straight side across. I don't remember. I'm starting over. <laughs> I should be able to get it by the by my next turn. So let's just okay. Starting again. Um. All right. Already got the red side solved. So we just gotta scooch like that. Uh, da, 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 da. I swear I know how to do this. I do it all the time. And that ain't just the anxiety talking, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like that, that, that. Da, 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 over here. Like this. Okay, okay. White side solved. 
that whole layer is solved. So now I just gotta solve the next two layers. Okay. Uh, like that. Okay, it's still Eerie's turn. They're gonna take a while. Okay. Bottom two layers solved. So now we gotta solve the shit. Why can't I? This is like the what you do in the next part. No. Why can't I remember how to do this part? It's like this, right? I'm totally stuck. Huh. This never happens to me. It's like, it's basically solved at this point. That last layer, what is, what's up? I used to do this all the time. I guess it has been a minute, so maybe I forgot. Well, I got the first two layers done, so that's something. Yeah, I can only remember the one specific algorithm. Weird. I do it so much by, like, basically just muscle memory that I totally forgot. Nope, all I did there was screw up the corner. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I caught it, I caught it, I caught it. Well, crap. What have I done here? Um... I mean, am I wrong? Yeah, that's not how you do this bit, right? I'm just gonna put that back and uh, look it up later because I completely forgot how to do that next step. Weird time to be like braggy about it, I guess. Ooh, you're thinking the Eerie's gonna win, eh? Now that's a bold move. You know what? Now I put my water there. So I'm less likely to uh, forget that it's there. Yeah, I don't know why I messed that up. All right, that's my turn. Mouse in a sack. I got a sack. Okay. Hmm. Let's build. Oh, let's build another. Another ruddy sawmill. <coughs> I think I could use the wood. And we'll recruit. And march. We're going to move both of them over there. And then we're going to move both of them up here. Whoops, move three. Well, that works too. Oh, good, and I got a fox ambush. I mean, I guess it's not super helpful, but that's something. Oh, please. Well, no, they already have the fox revolt, so I don't mind if they revolt. Go for it, you know, I don't mind a bit. Let me finish my drink. All right. I just gotta flip. Hold on, hold on. Pick him up by the corners. Flip it around and whoop. Nope. The flippy moves. Like I'm decent. Like the packet moves. I can hold any, like, packets for whatever purpose, you know? Those don't give me trouble. 
I get a little sloppy with them because I smear them a little bit. But the flipping moves give me a ton of trouble, specifically because I have such trouble like catching them and stuff. Bam, bam, is that your card? I didn't give you guys a card yet. One day, one day I'll be good enough at magic that I'll, I'll do some tricks on here when I'm like waiting for my turn. Shit, there it goes. <sighs> I mean, mm, should I? No, 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 I'm not good enough. I, I'm thinking of a specific trick that I might be able to pull off, but no, not right now. I, I'm still not quite good enough. I'm just, I just, I haven't put enough practice yet, you know? I can do this one. I can do the, the 50k. Uh, 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 and you, you flip them. See, that's a pretty good one. It might be hard to see, but it's basically just... Grab it like this, flip it around. That one's flipped up now. And you flip, you do this situation. Flip it around. And then you just flip that up. Looks pretty nifty. Whoop, missed a couple. That's, that's not too bad. I'll be the first to admit I'm not a very great cardist, but I think considering I learned most of these moves in the last, like, few weeks, I'm doing pretty all right. Shoot. And yo. Okay. Pharaoh up. All right, let me see if I can do this correctly. Oh, almost. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, I dropped the card. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. That's fine, that's fine. That's why this is the practice deck, because I don't mind as much. Although my practice deck it has the pink corners, so you can probably tell if you look real close. It's pretty scuffed up. That's the big thing is like you want to have white edges because um, if you have color on the edges, as soon as they get scuffed up, it's real obvious. But if it's white edges, the scuffing is not as not as clear. That's not a terrible fan. It's still it's like a really fat packet right there, but that's okay. Still real stuttery with the uh, fan clothes. You gotta, what? Yo, almost, almost. I gotta work on it. I've pretty much, I've pretty much given up on this game. Little Alliance is gonna win here. Uh, I might wanna like fight him in a few places. I could probably use the ambush. Maybe. I don't know. Messed up with building that recruiter earlier. Should have kept kept it as is. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just goofing. I'm just goofing. Uh. Yeah, yeah, oh, well, kind of. Uh, and I... Ah, dropped. <sighs> yeah, Woodland Alliance is far too far ahead. They're going to win this one. Oh, boy. I might... Eh, well, I'll see this through to the end for the stream, at least.
The thing is, too, if you do it with enough confidence, a sloppy Curtis thing can still look kind of okay. You know? Like, a lot of my stuff has been pretty sloppy so far, but if you pretend like it isn't, or you at least admit that it is, you can pretend like you meant to do it. So you do that, and then you foot, 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 and then you, yeah, thumb fan. Do that one around, and then, I guess, I don't know. I'm not great at it. A uh, crafting face. Uh, let's go with. I mean, they're pretty much the same. I prefer this picture. I think. I think it's cute. Put chain jump in Smash Brothers. I think they're cute. All right. Not a lot I can do. What the heck it? Uh. We'll build over here. Build uh, some. It gets me something. Two victory points, sure. And we're gonna gonna recruit. Yeah, let's fight. Get this guy off the board. One point. Better than nothing. That drink is done. Yeah, you know, let's get rid of this. It's sold out. I don't need it. Jeez, oh, how many, uh, four supporters? Oof. That's not very good for me. Oh, well. Come on, cycle. Whoa. Oh, I did it straight up instead of uh, to the side. Whoa, whoa, oh, dang. All right, come on, come on, come on. Come on now, touch me, babe. Can't you see that I am not afraid? See, catching that, catching that is the tricky part. Whoa! Three hearts. Is that your card? Whoa. Ten of spades. Ten of spades? Ten of spades. Alright. I always like kind of doing a quick cut when I'm doing this so that I make sure I got a fresh card. Because if they start getting too bent up, they don't fly right. What, what? It's gone. Magic. Actually, I think it's behind my back. Yeah. Jack of Hearts, is that your card? Magic. <laughs> Stupid. I'm fucking dumb as hell. Listen, this stream might not be the best content, but, uh, why am I going Scottish with this? Uh, it might not be the space content, but you know, it's, it's, it's something. Showing you card tricks and such. That's pretty neat. I haven't seen anyone on Twitch doing that quite yet. Actually, it's a bit South African more than anything, I think. I don't know. I need to get back to my Pokemon uh, Sword playthrough. I was, I was having a good time with that. Or Shield? I don't even remember. It's been so long. I was having a fun time doing all the voiceover and such. Then it kind of it got away from me. I ended up not doing it for a while. Oh, it's because Mario 3D All-Stars came out. I am going to do Galaxy this weekend, I think. But that shouldn't take too long. It's not a super long game. I think I'll be able to finish in... Two weekends, probably. That's like three sessions, 12 hours. Woof. Yeah, Woodland Alliance is winning this one. Ho ho! Cut it. What? 
Uh, there it is. Hey, hey. Oh, oh, oh. oh dang. It doesn't help that the rug I'm I'm sitting on is a uh, kind of the same pink as these cards. It makes it very hard to see them. Whoa! Whoops! Did I mention I'm inebriated? Because I believe it's it bears repeating. Okay, gotta do another count. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. On the table. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Okay. As is tradition, do a pharaoh shuffle. And since I'm in Pharaoh, I'll do a water bend. I don't think it'll be super great with these cards, but. Hey. I don't know how to get. I mean, they got into a single pack, so that's, that's pretty good. I'm going to add a stream marker. A stream marker there for later. Boy, I wonder what's going on in the game. <laughs> I've, I'm, ugh, I'm so drunk that I'm not paying attention at all. I'm just paying attention to my cards now. Whoop! I like playing cards, man. They're just nice. It's, it's such an interesting thing. It's like just a simple pack of cardboard, right? But then, like, you can learn to do all sorts of crazy tricks with them. Sometimes you can drop them right on the floor. Whoops. Sometimes, most of the time, you can drop them right on the floor. But then, if you practice a bit, you can do some like, some like, oh, oh, nope. Maybe not something like that. You can do some like this. What? Oh, shit. Dropped some already. Come on, I know I can do a Sybil cut. This is the most basic thing. Oh, it's my turn. Let me finish up my Sybil cut. Uh, nah, I screwed it up. Whatever. On the table. Code breakers. Don't need it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna overwork with the code breakers. So we have plenty to go with. I'm gonna march so I can get a couple guys over there. Oh, let's get one guy over there. Now I rule that clearing so I can build something there. Hmm. Let's short my defenses up here with another guy. So that's a march. I don't need that one. Um, and then we'll build. Ah, uh, yeah, I could use the points. So let's build another sawmill right there. Three points. I'm still not gonna win for certain. That's fine. Listen, Yuri Walker, you might not be doing the cleanest of games, but you are doing a decent enough game. That's real sloppy. I don't know why I did that. There's supposed to be, ah, oh shit. I just saw, I'm not very good at it yet, but the uh, underhanded, I mean, I can do that fan. I can do a thumb fan sometimes. <laughs> I can do the thumb fan okay. <sighs> what 
But I can't really do... There's the underhand fan. Where you, like... You take, like, half the pack. And you, like... You, like, spin it out. I know how to do it. It's, like... I know the general idea, at least. You, like spin it outwards like this but it's really hard well let me see if I can do it no not with this pack hold on let me get the vintage the bicycle vintage I think I might be able to kind of do it on this pack so if I do this correctly yeah ah, it's real sloppy but I kind of I kind of got it and then you just with what? I gotta practice this one more. You gotta like pivot it around your index. Ugh, that's real sloppy. Whatever. Let's do one of those. Is it called a Lindy? I don't remember what these are called. This specific one where you go like this, 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 and then you. Oh, there's a card out there. Oh, it flipped around the fan, and then you. Whoa. Still very sloppy, but I can I can kind of do it. Hold on. Let me see if I can do it correctly. You flip that one out. You do this. And then as you're coming up, you do the fan. Whoop, jog that out. Hop it over. You're supposed to do that with your thumb. That's why I messed that up. And there we go. One more time. I think I can get it on the third time. So you grab it like this. You flick this card out. You do a revolution cut and then while you're doing that you do a thumb fan nope nope wrong finger again why'd I do that nope I dropped one damn that one's really hard I mean technically it's a beginner thing the main thing is the thumb fan which I'm the thumb fan is that hard you hold it like that grab it with your thumb and then you just kind of squish it and it does that kind of thing you know they're not, I'm not super like smooth with the thumb fan, but it's more comfortable thumb fan. Well, it's like, it is a thumb fan. Yeah, but like the, um, that's technically considered the thumb fan. Whoa. Um, ah, shit. There's also like the pressure fan where you like, uh, well, let me clean these up. Squared up, okay. There's the pressure fan where you push it real hard and it does it. But it ends up being like the thumb fan again. Technically the thumb fan you're supposed to use your thumb, but since I learned from Chris Ramsey and he does it with the index, that's why I do. Well, let me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty-six, twenty-six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty-five, twenty-five. So I did lose a card. There it is. The eight of diamonds. Was that your card? Magic. <laughs> Uh, this, is the, this stream sucks. Yeah, whatever. This specific live stream event. Oh, it's my turn. Now let me finish the Pharaoh. It's tradition. Okay. Varish? Yeah, close enough. Okay. Do I even want the armorers? Yeah. Yeah, I'll accept those. I am planning on making some moves. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna recruit. And then I'm gonna march over here to march it. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Outrage, outrage. And I'm gonna move over here with the second part of my march. Screw that. I don't need the sawmill. I don't care anymore. Oh no. I can't do it. It's fine. And then we're gonna go one, two, three, four. All up there. Heck yeah, I'm just going nuts. And oh let's let's move on over here for safety. Since I have the other part of the move. Then I'll build a workshop and then the turn after that I will use Favor of the Foxes just for fun. It's not gonna win me the game. In fact, I don't even think the game's gonna go that long. <gasps> Whoops. Oh well. No, revolting there. Shit. Yeah, I don't think I can even build the workshop then. Oops. Whatever, they're gonna win this turn, I'm pretty sure. Oh well. Here we go. Here's where they win. They just need two more victory points. There's one. Come on, one more point. You can do this. Oh, come on, don't drag it on another turn, my man. Come on. Come on, I swear to God, if you drag on another turn, I'm gonna be so mad. Please, please, there we go. Okay, they win. That second game was trash. Oh my God, I'm way too drunk for this. That's all right, you know what? So this was fun, but I'm gonna switch over to Mario 35 to uh, do some of that, I think. But first, I'm going to take a break. So, I will BRB. Don't go anywhere, folks. Don't touch that internet dial. I'll be right back.
right, let's fucking do this. Whew, okay. I've not played this once, and I'm not even that good at the original Mario. So let's figure it out. Yep, yep, yep. Let's do it. Guess I gotta start with the original course. The idea here is that it's 35 people, including me, playing Mario, and every enemy that you kill goes to someone else's screen. So whoever's... And then it's basically just what position you die at. So hopefully I can get in the top 10. That's my goal right now. I don't think I'm gonna do super great. We'll do this for a little bit, and then I'm probably gonna end it around... 12.30? I don't know. We'll find out. Here we go! Here we go. Uh, this guy. We'll go with that. Oh, I gotta use the plus pad, okay. <laughs> My roommate has been playing a lot of this, and they said that, uh... The amount of people that die at the first Goomba would really shock you. But, I mean... I don't think I'm gonna end up doing that. The big thing is the time limit is not really Mario like standard. Do 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 do. It's fine. I'm gonna spend as much time as I can in one one. Cause like it's not very hard. <laughs> and I'm fairly drunk, so I don't feel that I could do much better. Whoop, not that one. This one? Oh wait, this is the end. Oh no, I got eight seconds. And then the warp does work, but it doesn't just take you straight to the end. It, uh... It takes you to... Um takes you to one of three random locations. You do get to choose, basically, but they are randomly selected, your th selection of three each time. And if you get 20, then, whoop, oh, no, oh, I'm out. Whoops. 25th. My God, that's pretty bad. All right, I leveled up to five, so that's pretty good. This is my first time playing this, so that's not too bad. I've definitely seen worse. Rematch, let's do this. Let's start at one, two. That way we have a chance of uh, getting to the warp real quick. 30, 35, all right. I'd recommend if you have Nintendo Switch Online, get this, you know, it's free for now. And it's, uh, very, very, uh, very exciting. I don't know if I necessarily say it's good, but it's an exciting game. Oh, okay. I picked 1-2, but it still brought me to 1-1. One, one. Weird. Whoa. I'm just gonna be extra careful, because I don't want to be the dumbass tying at the first Goomba. And then, yeah, I have it set to random, I guess? You can switch it to whatever. Whoop. Oh. Shit, I think I'm a little too drunk for this, but we'll see. We'll see how well it goes. I leveled up. Come on, I can get to the top 10. I know, I know that at the very least I can get to the top 10. Or can I? Maybe that's my hubris, you know? Maybe I am very incorrect on that. We'll see. We'll see. Here we go! Whoa! Here we go, here we go, here we go, now! I got a mushroom. Yep, there's somebody who died on the first Goomba. Uh, this one, I think, is the one you can go down? Yeah. Let's get all the coins we can, because if I can get 20, I can get the item roulette. There we go. That gives me one of the daily goals. Dead. 
Dang, only plus 10 seconds. There is no animation between them. I've noticed that. Oh good, I hit that while I was still mushroomed, so it gave me the fire flower. Let's just, yeah, we can pop down in here for the time. Whoop, take it, take it slow. Oh god, the noise, the noise. Uh, I mean, it was gone by the time I started talking about it, but, you know. I'm drunk, you don't give me shit for it, all right. All right, if, you'd, if you wouldn't mind. I prefer not getting shit for my drinking. I'm an American, I pay my taxes. I'll do what I'm meant to do. Oh, well, that doesn't matter much for me. Since I, oh, 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 oh. Uh, I should still be able to get the warp, I think. Whoa, who got a piranha plant? I guess just need the fire flower for that. Whoa, and then we're going to the warp. All right, where do we want to go? Let's go 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one sounds pretty good. That's the thing, unlike Tetris 99, there are like slow moments here where things are just kind of like hectic, but like manageable and you can kind of chill out for a minute. Whoops. Honestly, yeah, you can go kind of slow here. As long as you don't go so slow that you die. Up. Oh! Aren't I a silly goose? Yeah, I fucked that up. Oops. Level 10. It's your mother f fucking paracoop. All right, I'm gonna give this one more shot. I'm gonna give it one more shot and then, uh. I might end it. You know, I might. Uh, we'll see how long it takes me to die on this one. Come on now. Come on. Have some water. We got this. We got it. Come on. Do 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 do. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Give me the mushroom. Okay. Oh, nobody died on the first Goomba this time. Good, good. So the first Goomba. Oh, and someone died on the first pit. That is unfortunate for them. Good for me though. So can't say I'm too shooken up for them. Get some coins. Send some Goombas around. Goombas are pretty low level enemies, so it's not super strategic to get it for them. Oh my god, are they already at the red? That's impressive. Because once they start, like, getting low, I think around 10 seconds, it starts going red. And then later, when you get to, like, the top five players, it goes, uh, it goes red. Oh, that's the other thing, is that it gets you to different levels, uh, kind of randomly. So you're not necessarily going to go to 1-2. In this case, I believe, uh, because I selected this... Did I want this? I don't know. Well, but we've got a Bowser. Which is bad news for all of my enemies. Because they're going to get a Bowser in front of them. Oh, and somebody else got a Bowser from me. Oh no, that's an awkward spot for him too. Whoop, got damage boost through. Well, you got the chance. Oh no, oh my mushroom. No! Ah! Ah. Twelfth. I'll take twelfth. Twelfth is not bad. That's in the top fifty. Fifty percent, that is. I can, I can get to the top ten. I'm gonna keep playing until we hit three hours or I get to the top ten, whichever comes first. 
Uh, I'll go with one two. I don't. I still don't get what that means because it, it sends you to one one to begin. I guess is that the second place you go, or is that like the the difficulty you're asking for? I don't know. Maybe it's where where you live, where you're from, where you find yourself in times of trouble. Whoop. Okay, here we go. Oh, and you start with 35 seconds. That's cute. Oh no, it's a goop. Oh jeez, it's a mushroom. Not the Goombas. Not the Goombas. Now I'm curious if the Goombas that they spawn go to other people too. Oh, oh, not that one. Come on now, come on now. Give me those 20. Give me those 20 coins. Watch out. Watch out, there's Goombas. Mm, watch out, there's Goombas. I don't know who's falling down there like an idiot. Let's see what I get. Mushroom at least, please. Oh. Death. Death's what I get. Come on, come on. Okay, okay, let's... Well... Yeah, let's start with a mushroom, heck it. We got plenty of coins, why not? That way I get a fire flower from the first uh, block that you... The first question block. I should replace the face of this at some point, because it, it comes with the red by standard, and I do like the texture of it, but one of the big selling points is that you can remove the front. Um, can I do it here, or do I have to hit, like, is there, like, a thing I gotta do? I don't remember. Um, but it's like, I, I feel like I'm not so much a, a red person. I know I'm re wearing this red shirt, but I'm wearing the shirt because of it's got Godzilla on it. I'm not wearing it because I'm a big fan of red or anything. Alright, give me the canes. And I can get an item later. Should be quite fine. Whoa! Oh no, the Goombas are done. Uh, let me set that to attackers, actually. You gonna attack me? Heck, you guys. Whoop. Ooh, and what's going on in this situation? Goombas are such a low-level threat that I don't even care. Whoa! See, that's when I care, is when they just drop in on my feet. Also not worth a lot, so maybe I shouldn't be wasting my time. Jumping down to get him. And I know, I know there's a, a one-up up there, but I don't care. I already missed it. Ah, oh, crap. What do we get? Item roulette. Hey, fire flower. All right. Okay. Send those their way. Nope, send it to the attackers. If you attack me, then I'll attack back, son. That's just how I do. Where do we go? Where do we go? Well, I'm gonna go to 1-1, one, because one, that's the easiest one, which means that it just gives me more time to uh, prepare for when they do some nonsense. My roommate tries to go to all the fun ones, and I understand that, but at the same time, it's like, why not go to the ones that, the 1-1, one, one, because strategically, it's like, it just gives you more time to actually, like, win. Take pot shots at some Goombas real quick, and then go down here so I can get the item roulette. I don't need it yet, but eventually I will. Oh, 
wow, I'm not even hitting him. I literally can't even go down in that block, huh. Fifteen seconds. I'm in the top 19, which is pretty good. Like I said, I want to get to the uh, top 10. Once I do that, I will end this. Whoa, <laughs> sending out quite a few here. Top 10 doesn't seem like it'd be that hard. I got to top 12 without even really trying earlier. Whoa, ah, oh, dang. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, that one. It's the one up, which gets me the uh, item roulette. Oh, here we go. Whoop, oh. And then we go to the warp, and back to 1-1. One, one. I think that's the longevity, the longevity strategy, you know? Oh geez, so many Goombas, oh no, how am I gonna, oh, well, oh my hubris. Oh my hubris. Oh, okay, I'll accept that. I want to go through here, so I can get another item roulette. Give me flower. Oh, okay. Give me flower. Oh, it keeps giving me the mushroom, which isn't too bad, but I want the flower is what I want. Oh, that could have been bad. Dang, uh, whoops. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh. 16, 16's not too bad. Oh, it just went past midnight, so my dailies changed. Okay. Ooh, Bullet Bill, uh. Let's change our icon, I like a Bullet Bill. Let's see, icons. Yeah, bullet bill. Yeah. 35 player battle, let's do this. I think I get it. Yeah. Come on now, come on. Come on. Here we go. Ready. Go. All right. Just take your time. They don't even appear like at your feet. Like unless you're running, honestly, the enemies that they spawn are not too big of a threat. It's just when you start getting like... Here's the thing, if you are not... Uh, if you don't have a problem with being bored, like, you could probably play this game super optimally. Because, like, taking it slow and just using every bit of your time to its fullest seems like the, like, core strategy here. Although I could be wrong. I've not played enough of this to know yet. Whoops. Oh, that sucks. That's fine. I just need a... a mushroom. Whoops. Well... That's not great. I will be quite frank. Oh, start! Start! Start, man! Woo! There we go. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, I almost screwed that up. I 
Ah, dunk. I got to 27th. No, I have not done worse. That's that's the worst I've done. In fact, I only did 28. Ah, there was 27 left after I left. Come on, let's do this. We got this. We got this. Can I? Yeah, I can basically do a full deck like that. It's still pretty smushy, because uh, I'm not a super great. Wow, first Goomba, once again. There's really always somebody who does it. Here's the thing, getting into like the top 30, not too hard, because there's usually some dunked who does that. And as you can see, somebody's are uh, quite a few people are actually already into um one two so that can't be that hard tbh those are probably like speedrunners because let me tell you it's gonna take me a minute to get over there ah dip ah dip dang daru i'm fine though don't worry about me Don't worry about me. I'm alright. Nobody worry about me. Listen, I know what he's saying, but in that song, it makes me worried about him. To be honest, had he not said anything, I wouldn't have been worried, but uh, the uh, way that he says that, it's me kind of worried about, about he. Have I checked on him? Was he okay? Maybe. I don't know. I, w I wasn't there. Ooh, ooh. Nope, not that one. Hey, there we go. That's some coinage. Just gotta play it safe, you know? I, I, there's a temptation to go real fast and be super cool and, like... Uh, impressive, but like, you just take it slow. <laughs> well, you got into the top 25 at least. <laughs> just getting more and more like fatigued as I do this. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. I'm a champion or something. It's gonna take a few seconds for them to get going. Just gonna, just gonna futz around with the deck of cards for a minute. Whoops! Hey, hey I meant to do that. <laughs> you believe me, right? And we're in it. Heck, my attackers. Oh, yep, there it is. First Goomba. Sorry, number 34. Oh, I guess we didn't get a full 35 on this one. That's all right by me. All right, come on, come on. I can get, I swear, I can get into the top 10. I don't think I can win, necessarily. Not right now, for sure. I'm very drunk, but I think top 10... Top 10 is reasonable. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, here we go. Oh geez, one of my friends just messaged me about the election going on. I will check that after the stream. Hopefully it is good news. But who knows? This election is a friggin' a friggin' clown show. 
Uh oh. It's, it's just like the pure essence of circusry at this point, you know? No, my one up. Yeah, whatever. Uh, let's do one two again. Because I know I got this fire flower for me right here. Boxes worked in my favor there. Come on, I can get top 10. Top 10. I'm literally right now, I'm top 18. Come on, I can't get top 10 off of that. T yeah, right. Top 17. There we go. I'll go to 1 1 and like wait it out, you know? Just be, s just be slow, methodical. That's a lot of enemies. You know what? It could be worse. Whoa! Uh -huh, I thought you could get me. Did you? Come on, come on. Do, do, do. Whoop! How has somebody got a blooper? I don't know. The old bloops, you know? 16, top 16. I got to top 12 on like the first try or something. Somewhere, I don't remember. Right, 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 there's no animation. Sorry, I'm used to it going do 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 And all that business. Yeah, the thing here is that uh, once somebody hits an enemy, it gets passed back and forth between everybody. Do 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 do. Whoops. Pow. How you like me now? I hit you so hard like a name is Bowser. You're getting pummeled. Let me go right back in your wind tunnel. Ha ha ha. Oh. Oh man, the Star Man is so satisfying in this. Come on, can I get the Fire Flower? Yes! Fire Flower is very powerful in this version. Top 15? Top 15. There's a fire flower. Oh, I gotta deal with this guy. It's fine, it's fine. With the fire flower, I am, I am too powerful. You cannot take me. Oh, that's interesting. Those guys are uh, bumping up against each other like that. I don't think that ever happened in the original Mario. That the, uh, the red Koopa and the green Koopa could be in that situation. All right, and then, yes, good, good, good. Top 14. Oh no, my fire flower. Here, we'll just hit that. Mushroom. Hit it again. Starman, okay, I'll take a Starman. Whoop, top 12. Come on, come on. Ooh, 7-4. Nope, nope. Taking 1-1. One, one. Playing it safe. Playing it safe. Top 11. Oh, Come on, come on. I just gotta survive longer than one more guy. 
Oh, that's neat. The <laughs> looks like the time only goes up to 2:56. That's a that's a programming thing for y'all. Is that uh, 8 bits could only go up to 2 technically 255 0 Oh, I'm in the top 10. Top 10, baby. Okay, I don't think I could Well, let's let's try for the top 5, you know, since we're already at this point. Top 7. Top 7. Top 5 would make me very happy. I don't think I can do much better than that, but if I can at least manage top five, I'll be very happy. Whoops, okay. I am rule edit. Come on, Starman, or Mushroom, or Flower. Okay, I'd prefer Flower, but you know what? Come on, come on, come on, give me the Flower. Ah, it's Mushroom. And I immediately lost it. You know what, I already met my goal. Let's, you know what? I'm just, it's, ah, it feels crappy to do that. I feel like they probably have something to stop you from just waiting it out. Oh, top, top six. I will take that. That is pretty good. So that's going to do it for tonight, folks. I hope I, I brought some entertainment to your life. So thank you for watching, whether it's in the past, present, or future. Uh, if you missed the beginning of this stream or want to watch any of my past streams, you can check the past broadcast tab up above on the browser version. That'll show you all of the last 60 days worth of streams. If you want to see any of my past streams, go down below on the browser version to Iggy Kid Twitch Archive. That's my YouTube channel where I post all of my streams I've ever done, so you can watch all of them down there. Varying qualities. I've improved things over time, you know. Uh, you can also find my personal YouTube channel, Iggy and the Ape, linked down there, which I have movie reviews, I have board game reviews, I got some, like, different video essays I'm working on right now. I got Whiteboard Game Season 1. Whiteboard Game Season 2 is coming out soon. That's, like, a board game tutorial series, so I'd appreciate it if you watch that. I put a lot of work into it. If you want to make sure that you catch any of my future streams, you can check the schedule down below, which shows what game I'm playing on what day, and you can also go to the stream below... Uh, stream main page down below by clicking the icon there of the little, little lion character and you can click the schedule tab and I'll show you what game on what hour on what day. That's all subject to change though so if you want to make sure you don't miss anything I do, follow me on Twitter at IggyDKid and turn on notifications. I tweet out every time I go live, usually about a half hour or so ahead of time. I try about that but I will give you uh, prior notice but uh, the best way would be to follow me. Click the heart up above on uh, either version I'm pretty sure and you will follow me, and if you set up the notifications in your account, it will give you a notification. You can get the app, it'll give you a notification. You can set up so it sends you an email. However you want to do it, it really helps the stream. It's free for you. All you got to do is get a free Twitch account, and I'd really appreciate it if you considered. So with all of that said, thank you for inviting me into your home, your tablet, your computer, your phone, your gaming console, your TV, however you watch today. I'm really glad you did i hope i brought some entertainment and levity into your life i try my best i hope you'll join me on saturday for some mario galaxy at about 8 p.m eastern that's the plan anyways and hey if nobody else has told you this i'll tell you this right now you're a good kid thanks for watching everybody goodbye goodbye join me on saturday eight o'clock for a mario thing that i said you know mario galaxy goodbye good night